Hello, hello. Happy full moon, everybody. If you're tuning in after the live stream, hello, welcome. It's good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. I just started, so we're just going to wait a few minutes while people come on in. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this full moon. Yes? So wonderful to see you guys. If you are new to me, <clears throat> you need to know that I practice true sidereal astrology. So that's probably so that is why you are seeing that this full moon, um, technically on the third, but I'm counting it. I'm counting the energies as between the second and the fourth, and I'll explain. But um, if you're seeing that the full moon is in Sagittarius, and like you're like, what? No, that doesn't make sense. That's why. It's because we're doing, we've got true sidereal astrology here, okay? So that's what we're going to look at. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the uh, astrology of it. I actually really just wanted to come on and channel um, a reading, do some, channel some messages for the collective for this full moon. Um, and it's interesting, I was texting a friend of mine, my homeboy, um, that I'm going to be, I'm going to see later tonight because we work together. Um, but we were working last night. And we were talking about how the moon is going to be full um, because we were outside taking a smoke break and we could see the moon really beautifully from where we were. And we're going to be able to see it in the same place tonight. So <clears throat> I'm excited about it. It's going to be gorgeous. But we were commenting on it. And so we were talking about, oh, when is it? And I was saying to him, I think it's like between the third and the fourth. And technically it is. Hi, ID Philly. Hi, Lamore. Um, but then I was checking the chart today and I saw that it was, that it was in fact going to be, um, it's the full moon energies really kind of start. I mean, it's already started, you know, we could already feel the energies a few days before and we're going to feel the energies a few days after, but like the actual event, it starts this afternoon and goes into, um, today it goes into Tuesday afternoon, the 4th. Um, that's when officially on the chart, any sort of aspect between the sun and the moon has completely started and then ended. Okay, so that starts this afternoon, June, July 2nd. Officially, the moon, the, full, the moon and the sun are opposing each other officially the, the, over the night. Um, well, really over the daytime tomorrow, okay, um, on, on the 3rd, and then dissipates into the night and on, into the 4th. Okay, so that's why, that's why you see these dates like they are in the title here. Um, so, I was just coming on to channel some messages for us, for the collective here. I don't have anything specific. Um, I'm going to start with the, uh, moonolo the Moonology deck, yes. Mm. I like some Palo Santo. I've been using Sage, but there's someone that I've been following on Instagram and he was using Palo Santo this morning so that's kind of inspired me to use it but then also I'm running out of sage <laughs> so I'm trying to, to conserve it so we're gonna I gotta get some more I hope you guys are doing well on this Sunday yes we're gonna get into this um, oh, sorry. We're starting with the Moonology deck. And if you are catching this live, that's great. You will be able to, don't worry, you will be able to watch this later um, if you like. And this is going to be over on YouTube as well, okay? All right. So this full moon energy for the collective here. Full moon is in Sagittarius. Um, the other thing that I did notice, you guys, speaking of astrology, uh, and I did channel a reading for, for Patreon this morning. It's pretty juicy. You might want to go check it out. Um, but um, Venus is in Leo right now, and she's pretty close to Mars. Uh, she's not gonna. They're not. Venus and Mars are not gonna go completely conjunct in Leo. Um, Venus is going to turn retrograde before they actually go officially conjunct. Like literally right before. Um, but what I was channeling in, I was channeling a, a, a message in for the collective today 
over on Patreon, and it has to do with someone speaking up for themselves, someone speaking up for their own truth. I'm feeling with Venus being in Leo right now, if you have strong Leo placements in your chart, whether that be Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, that this really could be affecting you right now. Um, Venus may be calling for you to stand up for yourself. There may be some sort of situation that is calling for you to stand up for yourself, to stand up and love yourself, maybe to stand up for your inner child, um, stand up for what it is you really truly love, what it is you really truly believe in what it really what it is you really truly would like to have and or experience in your life i feel especially since maybe this is happening right now yes that makes sense because venus is getting so close to mars and their energies are kind of conjuncting and mars is also in leo and so you may already feel pretty prideful pretty fired up about yourself or maybe fired up about something specific or something like that um taking your own feelings into account that's what i'm feeling here as venus is coming close to mars whatever is has whatever is coming up for you whatever is being triggered um with venus approaching and getting close to it it's like there's this sense of self-love and unconditional love that is coming through in this situation for you which is then which then may be causing you to stand up for yourself um, stand it up for what it is you truly believe in stand up for who or what it is you truly love something like that okay so keep that in mind with this full moon energy as well two more shuffles here for the collective so full moon in sagittarius july 3rd and july 3rd really but i'm really saying it's we'll say oh, whatever july 3rd into the fourth okay Mm-hmm. Blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Firefly, what's going on for this full moon? For the collective full moon in Sagittarius. There we go. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is nice. So you first you have believe in the impossible, blue moon. And then you have a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. And then finally, you have conclusions are within reach. This is very good, okay? Obviously, the closing out of a tough cycle. Um, don't let your past hold you back. The South Node. <laughs> That's interesting. The South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. So obviously, um, there is some. There may, there, may, there may be some sort of healing, some sort of reconciliation, some sort of um, closure to something. Um, it, during this full moon, the full moon may give you the energies, may be giving you the boost. I'm hearing maybe even the confidence boost to close something out. Believe in the impossible. A win-win outcome is forecast and conclusions are in re within reach. I am really uh, interested in seeing what this one means for the collective. <laughs> Let's see. Last shot. Ooh. Wow, okay, first, first card out is the Four of Wands. And I was just saying last shuffle, and as I said that, this card came flying out. So we're gonna take it. This is the overall energy. This could deal with your home and your family life. Um, this could be your personal stability. Hi, Jessica, your personal stability. How are you today, my love? Um, your personal stability, some sort of foundation within yourself. Um, I do feel very strongly, you guys, that if you're resonating with this message, then you are approaching or entering into this full moon energy, feeling very solid, very secure um, within yourself. Okay? And that's creating a sort of a ripple effect around you. Um, I feel like because you are this solid or you have reached this state of solidity, of balance, of, of it feels very firm and it feels very loving and happy and unconditional. I feel like you're just in this space within yourself and then that's now starting to reflect in the world around you, in your physical experience, okay? What's going on here for this full moon in Sagittarius? Uh, full moon... Um, what? Oh, that's it. Oh. Mm. Overall energy here we have the emperor. Somebody's standing up, somebody's showing up, somebody is stepping up. I feel like you've been doing this for yourself. We have a lot of hidden energies here. We're gonna take them, but we're gonna take the cards that came up face 
I came out face up first. Okay. First card you have obviously is the Four of Wands, but then with that you have the Seven of Wands. And then you have the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. And with this I'm hearing someone is weighing their options, choosing carefully, confirming what it is they believe in. To the Queen of Cups also. Someone is very connected to their emotions. Someone is very getting very connected to their emotions. Someone is paying attention to how it is they feel. The truth of the process. Oh, I see. We have two people here. We have an emperor, and then we have a queen of cups. Well, okay, they're actually the hermit. All right, see, the, these are the cards that came out face down, okay? So this is the energy, I'm feeling this, I'm picking up on the fact that this is an energy of another person because the deck split to reveal this queen of cups and now we, I, I'm seeing two people. And I'm seeing this person here who has the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and then the Hermit reversed is overall energy of the Queen of Cups. Now the Hermit is reversed here because for some, because this person, I'm hearing this person is ready to come out of some sort of Hermit energy. They've been in here for far too long is what I wanna say. Or maybe that's how they feel about it. This very well could be the empress to this emperor. Because I do see the way that this is set up right here, I see the hermit and the emperor kind of mirroring each other. You see? And it feels like whomever is in this emperor energy here is just now starting to get into that emperor vibe. You know what I mean? Is just now stepping into this energy. I'm hearing for the first time in their lives. This person... Holy, holy moly. Okay, hold on a second. Because we need to go deeper here. Who is this person? Show me this per- Oh my god, look, the Lovers is at the bottom of the deck now. And the Six of Wands. And the High Priestess. And the Ace of Wands. This is- Oh my god, the Sun to the Page of Cups. Um, woo! Reconciliation is possible here, you guys. This person over here, um, this Queen of Cups energy, Queen of Pentacles energy here with the Hermit reversed. This person, they're in hiding. I'm hearing incognito, <laughs> incognito. I mean, they're in hiding. They, for far too long, they've been experiencing this. They've been putting up with this. Tell me, tell me about this person here, this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, under this full moon energy. Damn, 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 the King of Pentacles. Show me, the, what is this? The Devil. This is her counterpart. Ace of Wands. Oh. All right, so... This person over here that's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, walked away. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords came out, fell on the table while the King of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Ace of Wands came out. This is what, and see, this... Shit. So, this, this... Holy shit, you guys. This, this is a mess. This person is, is hiding, is shying away from something, is very defensive. 
against this. The King of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Ace of Wands. The Devil is coming in between this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, the desire that is needing to, that is wanting to be had. And that is causing this individual here to walk away. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. This says to me, I would rather be alone than caught up in this toxic mess with you, is what this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups is saying. And yet we have the Hermit in reverse. And I'm hearing with that she or this person is ready to come out of here. I just realized I never put a filter on. That's okay, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter, I want a filter. <laughs> Why, you're halfway through the video now, Eric. Just keep going, <coughs> you idiot, okay. Um, I want to know why the hermit's in reverse, though. I keep hearing she wants to come out of this. Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom. Why is the hermit in reverse here? Seven of Cups. The, seven, the, 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 the hermit in reverse actually kind of feels like this person is being forced to stay in this energy. Hi, Amber. It's like this... It's, it's like returning back into hermit stage because the situation is unclear is what i'm saying is what i'm hearing yes is what they're saying yes okay why the hermit in reverse you stayed there for far too long see look you stayed there for far too long temperance in reverse it's time to come out it's time to be out of this and yet for some reason we still have this toxic energy here and that's exactly why this person is staying hidden Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. It's the last thing that comes out here with the High Priestess. So while this person is in this hermit stage, they're still working on themselves. They're still working on their situation. They're still listening to their intuition. Oh, hey, you woman, you. You did just finish it. Oh, I hope it, I hope it resonated. I hope it, was, I hope it was good. Okay. So then what is this person doing in the process here? Like what, what is going on with this devil then? See, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles doesn't even want to show himself right now. I feel like this, whomever this King of Pentacles is, he is ashamed. He literally doesn't even want to be seen right now. What's this devil? Because the devil got the whole, got the toxicity. <laughs> okay, well good. The toxicity got the better of this this king of pentacles whomever this king of pentacles is that's supposed to be showing up as the king of pentacles who is now I, yes throughout throughout this process because of this situation is now stepping into their emperor energy okay but the devil still got the better of this person what's the devil here show me this toxic energy show me this devil the empress show me the devil what's the devil Um, <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> Sorry, that's my friend. <laughs> I do want to put a filter on just for shits and giggles. Oh, not that one. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Okay, anyway. Oh. Well, um, the devil is representing a bit of toxicity in terms of... Look, the devil is clarified by the Empress, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. It's like this person is waiting, but waiting for far too long, I am hearing. Because both, because look, see, the reason, the reason why the devil is getting triggered here, the reason why someone's uh, fear is being triggered here, the reason why someone is, is being tripped up, is being held back, is because of the fact that this emperor recognizes, oh, the need for his empress is what I'm hearing, um, is maybe even recognizing an empress 
No. You see, I was saying before, I was saying before that somebody was getting into this phase already. I, like when I was talking about this devil, I don't, um, <laughs> I don't, um, I believe this person has already fully stepped into this emperor energy. What's happening now is that it's being activated for them. They're starting to use it. They're starting to take control of it. They're starting to take their power back. The devil here it lives in the very fact of the action that needs to be taken. The devil here lives in the fact that someone, the, the empress, is due an offer. Mm. And then we have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. Watching, stalking, maybe not stalking, but watching from the sidelines. Watching each other is what I'm hearing. <sighs> this king of pentacles. All right. Um, you know, I won. <clears throat> no. I was wondering if maybe we were talking about two different people, but no, it's all the same person. I'm just, I'm hearing. Okay. I want to talk about this emperor energy then. Who is this emperor? What does this emperor need to know right now? What's going on with this guy? Fear. Lots of fear, lots of panic, lots of worry. I'm seeing... Um, maybe multiple people being involved in an, or invested in whatever the Emperor is trying to do, however the Emperor is trying to get to the Empress. Two more. That's one. What's going on with the Emperor? Show us the Emperor, please. Thank you, good spirits. Show us the Emperor. The Nine of Cups. Show us the Emperor. This, Jesus, jeez Louise. I don't understand this person. I'm sorry, guys. I don't understand this person. I feel like I've been reading this energy all fucking day, and I just don't <laughs> get them. Not even all day. For, like, the last few days. Maybe the last week or something. Oh, thank you, Amber. I don't understand this person. I mean... First card out is the Nine of Cups. Okay, then you have the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups. Right? Whereas... This... Okay, see the ace of the, the in the four of cups here, you have that ace of cups energy that came out in to clarify the devil with the empress, right? This is that energy here. And this is this person that we're talking about that's in the emperor energy. In not wanting to accept this cup, instead being here. And here, nine of cups, three of cups, having a good time, maybe even partying. And to be honest with you, I'm not gonna say that's a bad thing at all. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing at all. Maybe it's justified. Maybe they need this time period. It kind of looks like they do because they also have the Seven of Pentacles again, but this time it's with the Seven of Cups. Confusion. Everything is up in the air. I get a very strong feeling and I was getting it from the Seven of Pentacles before when it came out with the Ace of Cups and the Empress, right? is this feeling of waiting. I, I keep hearing waiting for the right time to strike, okay? But waiting to see how things are gonna develop as time goes on, as time moves on, okay? Overall energy for this person is the Four of Swords. Uh, but see, the thing about this, you guys, is this is this waiting period here, this taking this time, this kind of rejecting the situation or whatnot, whatever, or just being... This is risky. Because what I'm hearing is you're dealing with a real empress here. 
she doesn't have time to wait around. You're not the only emperor out there. And quite granted, quite frankly, she's not the only empress out there too. Okay, that's great, but she's here. She's ready to go. She's showing up in all her places, in all her ways that she needs to. But you're, but this emperor here is, is, still, is, is still stuck here. And maybe it's that this, whatever this three of cups energy that they feel attached to, it may be influencing this right here. It may be influ this, that, oh, uh, I may be causing some of this seven of cups energy here. King of swords now. Three of wands. Oh, the herb. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Well, okay. Don't freak out, guys. I can tell you that. Don't freak out. And here's why. Because this person is also showing up as the King of Swords here. Now, this, okay, see, this was part of the, this is part of the message too, all right? I believe this is probably something that I, I believe I said it in the Patreon reading this morning, um, or at least something similar to it. Whatever is going on, whomever this energy is, this Three of Cups that this person is favoring over the Ace of Cups that is being presented to them by maybe by the universe or maybe actually by another person, okay? I'm hearing they're reluctantly grabbing onto it, or like, like there's reluctance here. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have time or space for reluctance. If it's a, if it's not a hell yes, then it's a fuck no. Okay. Sorry, my neighbors. Um, this person is uh, showing up with a clear head, and I, I get this feeling that however it is. Whatever's going on in this Three of Cups energy, I feel like they're conscious of it. Because remember, they are an emperor, right? So they have all of these energies, the King of Pentacles, King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands, all of that going on in, in themselves, right? Okay, just like the Empress has the Queens. Okay. But this person is getting very focused and focusing on where it is they want to go. Okay. And here is that Emperor, I'm sorry, that Hermit energy that I was feeling like this other person, who turns out to be the Empress, was mirroring the Emperor with. Remember I was saying that? To the tower. So all I want to say is, yeah, okay, give this time. Because it's going in the right direction. I'm, I, and then also we have the Queen of Wands here that showed up underneath, it was underneath the tower, which was the last of which was the last of what I just pulled after the deck split. Um, and what I wanna say to this Empress energy here is you are pulling this person in. You are pulling the Emperor in. Okay, so Empress. Um, yes, you've been in hermit mode for far too long. Some of this is because of the fact that you're just scared to go out there. Maybe you have gotten stuck in a bit of a comfort zone, zone energy where you're just like, you know what? It's really nice in here. It's really comfortable in here. I'm safe in here. I'm not gonna get hurt in here. I'm just gonna stay in here. No, Empress, you were not meant to do that. You were meant to be out in the, out, out, out and about in the world. You were meant to be seen and heard from. You were meant to be interacted with, okay? So get your ass out there and have some fun. Go out there and live your fucking life. Don't hide away in the shadows, okay? Don't do that. That's what spirit is saying about, okay, look, you've been in this hermit energy for far too long. Just come on out there and do what it is you got to do. You know you can handle it. You're still fucking here, aren't you? What makes you think anything's going to take you down that easily? Man, get your ass up and get outside, please. <laughs> Empress. And stop waiting around is also what I'm hearing. Just go out and do it. Okay? Hey. Hey. So, I think that's it. Oracle message. Um, yeah, let's go to the lover's oracle. Get some uh, extra messages here. Oh, look, wedding ring is at the bottom of the deck. Uh, as I blow smoke in everybody's face. <laughs> um, was that a... Freudian slip there or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get some closing messages here for the collective. 
friends with this. Last one. Okay. Oh, there you go. Ooh, we have boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Seeing kind of a Six of Swords energy here in that vibe in that one. Closing messages for the collective for this full moon. Moving on. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, however it is you're moving forward, however it is someone is moving forward, maybe it's this emperor energy here, but um, you're moving into a greater level of stability. Uh, maybe this relationship or this connection is moving to a greater level of stability. You have boat and you have palm tree. And then you also have that with camera. I'm looking at camera and I'm like, I feel like there, there's something about pictures or there's, I feel like the solidity that you're moving into is being taken from your memories from the past. So what I wanna say here is uh, you're, you've learned very well or you, um, you have retained or you're applying what it is you've learned from the past in some really wonderful ways that are transforming your life into a more sta stable, situation or maybe this relationship to a more stable situation um what's this palm tree energy palm tree So <laughs> this is a lot of cards, but this situation went from abundance to not being enough. It was abundant and yet not enough at the same time and may have been really superficial. Coffee cup, okay? Abundance, not enough, and then coffee cup, and then keys on a ring. So there may have been many, uh, many, uh, um, many options, you know, decisions, unconditional, string along, one night stand, blah, blah, blah. Well, basic, but then you have the sword and the rose. There, there was some sort of clarity. There was some sort of truth revelation that happened and it caused a mirroring effect. And then what I'm hearing is this mirror, it's leading to this mirror, leading someone to see deeper into themselves um, as causing some sort of stability to grow here, to be born is what I'm hearing. And then when I look at camera here, it's like, there, there's, there, it's like so you can't forget this person or this person can't forget you or you can't forget this situation. Girl talk. <laughs> Girl talk is at the bottom of the deck. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yes. And in that, and see, in all of that, and this, and okay, and so Empress or Divine Feminine, if you want to say, this is why we're saying to you, it's time to get out. St well, it's time to get out from out of the shadows. It's time to start going out and having fun, having time with your friends, having fun, making memories, doing cool things, doing the things that you love to do, living in abundance and not, you know what I mean? Not this not enough energy, this lack energy. And as you, and when you're out there having, spending time with your friends and having fun and everything, that's when, e <laughs> shit, that's when everything starts to work. Everything starts to happen. Things start to flow for you because you're in the flow. But when you are keeping yourself inside, hidden, hidden away because you don't want to get hurt again, come on, honey, you're stronger than that. Life is going to hurt, okay? Life is going to hurt, my friend. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten to the point where I'm starting to enjoy the pain somehow. It's weird. Like this, re this recent thing with my back, I've always, well, I've always kind of been like this. Like, I always like when I'm in pain, when I know it's healing, then I enjoy the pain because I know it's healing. But if it's just like, if it's a fresh wound or something, it's weird, I don't know, I'm weird, don't, don't whatever. <laughs> but life is gonna hurt. You can't, you can't hide yourself away forever, okay? You, there are people here that you're meant to interact with that are meant to be seen by you and you are meant to see them. 
Wait. They are meant, you are meant to be seen by them. Yes. 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 And vice versa, right? Okay. You get what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Wait. Closing. Last closing messages from the romance angels here. Happy full moon, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we're probably going to have some pretty wild nights over the next two nights. Things have just been really weird around lately, but hey. I'm here for it. Closing message to spirit. This has been coming up a lot lately, past life relationship, and then you also have expressed your love. Um, <laughs> you know, I might, I, ha I might be, um, I might be starting another new channel, because I was talking about doing before I started the channel for Ophiuchus. I was talking about doing a channel for Leo, because um, I am a Leo. I'm a Leo Moon and Rising. Anyway, uh, you have expressed your love here, and this is taking me. And this is taking me to the fact that Venus is in Leo. Both Venus and Mars are in Leo right now in terms of true sidereal astrology, like I was saying in the beginning of this session. So there's really something during this full moon about expressing your love. Someone might express their love. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And then we have deception in reverse. The, someone may be coming out of hiding. Some, someone may, not, may stop being deceptive about their... Mm. Shut up guys look at this oh my god then finally you have true love here with religious factors at the bottom of the deck this could be the twin f this this if you guys know you know this some people call this their twin flame card in this deck whoa well get ready for some communication <laughs> for some of you okay now it really also it, there may not actually be communication yet everybody has free will all right so who knows take it as it resonates but i think at the very least there's i'm hearing something is about to be blown open for someone in terms of how it is they truly feel which may lead them to express it somehow yeah look oh my god <laughs> i was uh, yo you guys oh my god this is fucking crazy i was just guided to like pick up I thought I was just going to pick up one card from this deck that we did not use in this reading, but it ended up, I ended up picking up a stack uh, that I, I don't even want to look at what's underneath it. All I want to see is the card that was meant to be seen. It's the Page of Swords. <laughs> and then look at the bottom of this deck, we have the Page of Swords. Somebody's watching. You're watching them, they're watching you, you're watching each other. I can't make this stuff up, you guys. I just, I really just cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> the lovers. Hey, Stephanie, baby. Girl, how you always come in at the end of the damn session. <laughs> oh, but y'all, did y'all see that? I was literally just like, I was not trying. I was just, my intuition was saying, hey, Eric, pull these cards. And it started with the Page of Swords, and then they were like, okay, pull one more. It was the lovers, as I was saying, you two are watching each other. Silly gooses, why don't you just go ahead and talk to each other already? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. It's okay, Stephanie, don't worry about it. I'm just glad to see you. Ugh, okay, I gotta get my I gotta rebraid my hair. I gotta get ready to what time is it? Mm. Mm. Maybe I could take a nap for an hour. Well good. It's it's a doozy stuff. Anyway, I should go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Um <laughs> Um, 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 I am open for personal readings. If you're if you're interested in that, shoot me an email. Uh, shoot me a DM here on Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, which I am gonna, I'm actually let me do that now, um, so that part of the tribe can see it. Um, I love you too, Jessica. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you would like to get a personal reading, all the information is in the description box of this video below. Okay. 
I love you guys. Happy full moon. I hope you have a fantabulous rest of your weekend, a fantabulous Sunday, and I will see you guys tomorrow for morning coffee. Yes? <laughs> okay. Have a great day. Bye.